All right, so the setup I'm about to show you guys isn't my full setup. I'm still missing a few things, but I'll go over that as I get to it. So bear with me. And also it's uh, like one o'clock in the morning here and it's cold. So bear with me. I haven't also made a video in quite a while. So I might repeat myself. You might hear some same words over and over again. Please forgive me. So anyways, let's jump right into this. So getting started here. I have the Echo, I believe it's the GT1100 weed trimmer, string trimmer, weed eater, whatever you guys call it. Comment below, do you call it string trimmer or do you call it weed eater or do you call it a weed whacker? I don't even know if there's a real difference, but anyways, I really don't like this. It worked okay for, you know, just doing around the house here, residential, but it is a residential only um, string trimmer anyways. It's not meant for commercial use. And I just recently did a job, you can see some of the thicker grass got you know tangled up in there I recently did a pretty big job and it definitely showed signs of wear and tear um, it is the one string side feed head as you can see right there that's it um, and it's also a curved shaft I don't like the curved shaft I seem to be more of a straight shaft guy but we'll get into that in a later video um, and it's definitely like I said showing signs of wear and tear for a commercial use so I am getting another string trimmer it'll be a straight shaft but I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do on that. That'll be a whole other video on me, you know, going and looking at them and testing them out and all that kind of stuff and giving you a review and then the reveal and everything. So bear with me on that. That one's to come. So let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Oh, I've also got a leaf blower. Um, it's currently at a friend of mine's house. So I won't show you guys that just yet. Okay, so jumping into the first mower. This is the first mower I bought. I actually bought this mower from the same guy I bought that from. I found this on Craigslist after I bought, you know, this house with my wife. I needed a string trimmer because at the time I was borrowing my nephew's mower, which this isn't the nephew's mower, but it was just like this. So I bought this and then I ended up getting a really good deal on this. This is the 22 inch Craftsman self-propelled walk behind. And it is the three in one, you know, I can side discharge, I can mulch it or I can bag it. Um, which I ended up having to buy the bag and the frame separately and because this whole unit is discontinued there's a pretty high premium on that bag and frame. The main reason why I bought it is because well I'm a bagger for my own personal like my own personal use you know my when I'm cutting my own grass I like to bag it. I have a compost pile out back which I'll show you guys later on how I compost and I've got a raised flower bed out there and everything I think you guys are really going to enjoy that kind of content. So anyways plus some customers may want their grass bagged. If, the reason why I got this, also I'm going to use it, it's a backup, it's a great backup for when the other mower, you know, that one breaks, which again we'll get into that in a minute. But anyways, um, it's perfect for any yard that's real small, you know, some commercial properties may have a real small strip, like at a car lot, and this will work just fine. Um, the only problem I do have with it is the drive belt for the self-propelled system needs to be replaced, so when I'm using the self-propelled, uh, it doesn't self propel. I can hold it up and the wheels will work, but it doesn't actually have enough oomph to get it going. But that should be an easy fix, which you guys will have an update video on that. So anyways, moving on to the my pride and joy here, I guess you can say. Well, this is all my pride and joy, but moving on to the big one, the muscle of the crew. So it is the 33-inch self-propelled walk-behind Troy Belt commercial mower. And it is the 33-inch mulching deck. This mower is amazing. So I've already used all of these on a leaf remove, ooh, excuse me, leaf removal about a week ago. Um, I actually picked this up Saturday. Saturday afternoon I did two leaf removal jobs with it because somebody found out, a friend of mine found out I got this Saturday, called me, did a leaf removal, and then their neighbor came over. But anyways, we'll get into that. So um, this one actually does really well. The only problem I've had with it is trying to get it to shut off. You're supposed to be able to idle it down to here and it shuts off. Um, that doesn't work. I've had to aim it, you know, stick it all the way up to choke and choke it out, which, you know, is a waste of gas and probably bad for the spark plugs, which is an easy fix. It's just a matter of adjusting the carburetor when I get it running. So anyways, uh, this did a phenomenal job doing that leaf removal. So I'll end up continuing to use it. Um, I did have to, you know, raise it up like this and go over the pile once on the low setting and then drop it all the way down, go over it and then for a final run I was able to go all the way up to you know fourth gear and just run it over to pulverize it and it actually pulverized the leaves very well. So this will be my main my main deal. I'm probably going to make a homemade sulky for it for some of the bigger projects. 
for some of the bigger properties. I think I can connect it in right there somewhere, but anyways. Uh, so this is my main setup right here that I'm going to be using. Like I said, I will have another another weed eater coming, and this will become my backup weed eater. And I do have a leaf blower that's at my friend's house. Now the only other thing I'm going to do is I do plan on getting a much bigger mower. I'm thinking 52 or maybe even a 61 inch mower, zero turn. Now the reason why I'm going to do that, um, so I bought this one because it's small enough, it fits in gates. So most of the properties that I already have set right now all have gates and fences. So this will get in their backyards and everything like that and it cuts it well. Now I'm wanting to get a 52 inch or a 61 inch because I want something just a little bit bigger and that will cut a lot faster. As well as something that will hold up to the wear and tear. It will be a commercial mower for sure. Um, so I'm wanting something that will cut the jobs done a little bit faster as well as I am bidding some bigger properties. I mean up to about five acres on two of the properties I'm bidding on. So I'm going to need something that can cover some acreage. Um, the 33 inch just won't be cutting it. But anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Now the only other thing I do want to show you guys um, is my truck setup. I am just have a pickup truck. I don't even have a trailer yet and I'm using the ramp setup. Which I think you guys would probably enjoy the whole truck setup. And I can show you guys. But I'm currently filming this. It's like 1.30 in the morning and it's cold outside. So I'm not going out there showing you right now. That'll have to be in a later video. I'll show you guys my truck setup. But I think you guys will really enjoy it and think it's entertaining. So definitely stay tuned to that. If you're new, subscribe because you don't want to miss it. I'm going to definitely entertain y'all. So anyways, this is my setup. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you guys would do different maybe. What do you guys recommend for the zero turn? Um, so right now I'm looking between a Skag and the X Mark. Uh, I forget, like uh, Laser, Laser Z, something like that is the X Mark model. Um, comment below what you think I what you recommend. I'm looking for something that'll, you know, cut grass pretty fast, is reliable, but I'm really looking for that fine cut. You know, I really like those stripes. I want it to look very professional. So anyways, um, comment below what you guys think I should get. Also, um, I'm going to be doing reviews of each and every one of my products that I currently have and that I'm getting. Uh, I actually have a pretty big property that's got, it's not mine, but I've got permission from an owner to come to try them out. You know, I could do some brush cutting with that, try out different blades with it, show you guys how it works, and for all my mowers, and show you guys doing like some brush cutting removal. Not quite brush, but thick grass. Anyways, I think you guys will really enjoy it. So, uh, subscribe below. Subscribe, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on it. Um, you'll have to forgive me for my jitteriness. Like I said, it's 1.30 in the morning here. I haven't slept yet. And this is new to me, you know. I'm, uh, for those of you guys that already know me, I came from the car side. You know, I was doing car reviews and drag racing and stuff like that, which you can check out some of my other videos. But I love lawn care, and I'm just getting started in it, so I want to try and make some lawn care vlogs for you guys and let me know what y'all think. Um, so bear with me. I promise I'm going to get better, and I promise you guys are going to have some awesome content coming if you like this kind of stuff. So please subscribe, and as I always say, have a great day.